If you have a problem in attaining a higher yield in your squash production, vegetable production, this video is absolutely for you, okay? Finish this video and you will learn more from, from me, okay? But before that, before we proceed in our actual discussion, let me greet my, all my new subscribers around the globe. So thank you, thank you for your subscription and uh, continuous patronage in my channel. And I have a good news to everyone. So we attain our monetization uh, a month ago so thank you for your patronage and i have one appeal to everybody please don't uh, skip my ads so that the revenue will be used for my missions and different mission in life okay thank you so much let's proceed with no further ado let's proceed to the actual demo and how to pollinate properly this squash by hand okay don't forget to bring your note and jot down all the learnings that you, you will get from it. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go! Okay, good morning, good morning. We will start to demonstrate, I will start to go to demonstrate to you how to pollinate the squash flowers by hand, you know, manually by human hand. The first step is that uh, you need to wake up earlier than the blooming stage of the flowers. It will start at uh, 4.30 to to 8 not later later than 8 a.m. 8 o'clock in the morning Be why because you notice this one at 8 to 11 flowers become wilt ano? dried or yeah. you see viability is affected or the fertility it will not produce a good uh, performance okay so look at the pollen you know, pollen formation why I am advising everyone to wake up early in the morning because our pollinators or the pollen collectors the bees wake up uh, early in the morning okay? And sometimes they are not uh, after the pollination they are after the co pollen collectors you see the powdery uh, uh, no, powdery at the top this is not uh, this is uh, already no decaying or not uh, promising source of pollen since it uh, blooms yesterday's okay we will going to select uh, the best one the best uh, healthier female this is the female uh, part okay you know look at the 
formation of the pollen it must be complete okay it must be complete so that the pollination process by hand will become su successful okay and another thing is that you need to bring an extra so that when your first try trial is uh, failed you need you can try again immediately as soon as possible and if the pollination is incomplete you can complete by the another by the substitute by another uh, uh, replacement okay so yun sometimes you notice that the pollen is uh, deformed so that is the sign of reject rejected you know sometimes a uh, pest attack the uh, the entire uh, pollen pollen part that's a male part okay that's why you need to become early so that uh, you are the one to select you can select the best female part okay let's go we will try to use this as uh, our female part for the flowers to pollinate okay let's go to the uh, female flowers okay we will now start pollinating the flowers the female flowers okay the first step is we select a healthier female flower we will gonna remove the sepal okay this is the sepal this, i think this is a stock so we will gonna remove the petals so unfortunately yeah the bees uh, collected the petals earlier then uh, so we will try another flower so and <clears throat> the first step we will uh, put it in the stigma we will allow to the pollen grain to come in contact with the stigma down from the style then to the ovary then it will become the fruit okay so i will just demonstrate to you but in my previous video you can identify the healthy uh, pollen grains okay like this one we will imitate what the the beast the the great pollinators the original pollinator does doing to the flowers in the absence of the bees we will be the one to to do the pollination okay and we will imitate what they are doing uh, they are using their legs and the abdomen like that they collect uh, pollen from the female and then uh, gently uh, carry them to the stigma like this one huh? this is supposed to be that this is the be you know yeah, yeah the abdomen must fill uh, must complete the pollination in the entire uh, stigma of the flower so that the figure or the whole fruit will become uh, successful 100% successful in pollination okay supposed to be that uh, the pollen is not uh, yet ano uh, we will try to get another pollen to complete the process okay yun It's supposed to be that the, we have the not a so fine weather today. We will cover the uh, to protect the from rain. So because once the rain uh, penetrates in the fruit, there will be a 50-50 chance of survival. In the absence of cover, we can collect uh, leaves also of the 
the squash and put it there in the top of the core of the flowers Yun. it will serve as our cover protection from rain ok thank you so this is the actual uh, pollination process by by hand ok first the first the first step is to we need to remove the petals ok this is the result of what I discussed to you a while ago ok so this is the formation of a healthy pollen grains ok now we will carefully insert at the center ok you, you notice the thumpy mill part and gently yeah. Uh, around the female part let the pollen touch come in contact with its, uh, with the female part of the flowers we need to make sure that the whole part um, must come in contact with the pollen okay so that the pollination will become successful this one Yung, this is what I discussed to you a while ago so keep the, uh, the portion this portion does not come in contact with the pollen so pollination process will become not 100% uh, successful in our fruit the result will become our fruit will become distorted in shape okay not uh, in a proportionate shape okay so that's it just very simple so and we will throw it away or we will cook this include this in our cooking if you notice that the weather condition is not uh, is not good you can tie it with a straw and to avoid the rain from uh, no to become wet because once it become wet our pollination will not prosper or we need to cover this by this by the by the leaves if the leaves is fully developed and well you know. but since, since it is uh, not yet you know, bigger we can cover by leaves of the gabi or other leaves like this one okay so we will okay that's it very simple after two days you will notice if your if our pollination process is successful you will notice that the fruit becomes uh, a little bit shinier and bigger not darker but a little bit uh, shinier the the feel or the entire outer cold, the outer uh, part of the flower of the fruit is uh, become shiner okay so this is uh, what I'm telling you after if you notice that uh, the rain is coming going to fall down okay uh, in the dark uh, <coughs> the clouds is very dark oh, there is a very 90% chance of raining you, you can bend the, the entire uh, the lower part okay yeah like that so, so i'm just demonstrating to you so that you may know how to apply be careful because it's become uh, so crunchy so, yeah, that's it and you can bend it then you can put a uh, tie here okay straw so, okay so this is the result of a successful pollination process after two days so you see the actual uh, image and the color of the <coughs> of the outer you know, fruit that's the indication of the successful 
pollination by, by hand of man. The color is, is light, not too dark. The flower is wilting, not yet decaying after two days. Okay. It's a perfect indication and a sign that pollination process is 99.99% successful I will gonna show you after one week the actual image of the fruit okay this is the result of our pollination after two days sometimes uh, the flowers fall down but it doesn't mean that we fail so we will gonna wait for another five days to find out if we succeeded or not based on my experience i attained 99.99% accuracy or good result based on my experience okay through that uh, pollination by hand So this is the result of what we pollinated a while ago, estimated 3 to 5 days after, after 3 to 5 days, we are two. We can we are successful in our pollination process, okay? If you are blessed by my video, so kindly click the subscribe button and bell notification so that we can notify you in my next upcoming videos. See you in my next videos. God bless you all. Mabuhay. God bless the world.